Hi guys, uh, welcome to the High Tech Legion and software overview of the Thermaltake TT Sports um, Level 10M wireless uh, hybrid gaming mouse. We're going to open up the software real quick. It is just the TT Sports Level 10M wireless mouse software and it gives you a nice diagram of the mouse itself. You can see instantly you have five profiles across the top. We're just going to mess with well, let's go to a new profile. How about that? Uh, every button is fully customizable. For example, this right button, I can hit up for a keyboard function. I can assign that, make it a, I don't know, W. Let's say you want to make the right button where you walk. So now you don't have a right button. Maybe you reach over here and do one of these side buttons as your right button. Mouse function here. Sorry about that. Where is it at? right click button oh, and I missed it but you get the point <laughs> right click button obviously I need to change my DPI setting because I obviously have it higher than I'm used to um, you can do that with the sensitivity down or up and the it has an indicator I showed you guys on the mouse itself and you can see as I just flip that button it switches down to 800 DPI up through 16 32 and 5000 that can be changed using the sensitivity down you can set that for uh, you go in here let me show you one more time you click the level setting and then so I have it currently at 5000 you could crank that all the way up to 8200 um, or you know as low or as high as you want honestly I'm gonna click cancel um, you can set up all your profiles you can set up your macro settings macros are super easy to make you can just go here drop down and pick one or go to new change the name maybe you want it to be I don't know some spell in some game right and hit that and then you can go to delay time auto detecting or you can go to a default delay time you can set that for just about anything you want one millisecond up to a thousand milliseconds up to I'm sure it'll go to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine so you know almost ten seconds I don't know why you would want to do that but let's just leave it at default one or you can hit ignore delay so that everything happens instantly and then of course you have your record, your stop, your delete, or insert, and then you just come over here to the record and mash buttons, whatever you want to do, <coughs> and it records it. And of course, I hit ignore delay, so there's no millisecond delay time in there, and it's that simple. And then you just apply that, and then you would have that button, um, that macro set up for that button so super super easy to set up macros super easy to change the performance of the DPI the liftoff control here you have fine very low up through high uh, you know just under halfway for me well that was default and it seems just about perfect I do want to keep the polling rate high but you know maybe someone needs to set that lower 125 250 500 or a thousand um, and then of course your you can even change for different axis you can enable y, x y axis so that you can have maybe a side to side DPI would be higher than your up or down DPI um, which I would imagine in some first person shooters might be really good maybe you want to be able to spin around quickly but you don't want to accidentally end up looking at the sky or the ground but uh, I'm not going to do that Again, I did mention in the other part of the review, you can check battery status here. You can initiate sleep mode after it's idle for, you know, X amount of time. Um, there is also a switch on the bottom for the wireless. I generally keep it off until I actually unplug it. Uh, and again, you can just change that. That's very nice. And the battery indicator blink notification. Uh, I haven't actually seen this, but I do believe that is the little rectangle on the left click button that I showed but it might be an on-screen display of some kind uh, so far I ran the the 
excuse me, I ran the mouse down for quite a few hours and it really didn't drop low enough to even be considered. I think I didn't even get halfway. It was down to like here after almost six hours. Uh, that may be just because it's brand new, but I imagine there will not be very much degradation in that. Uh, this is a pretty nice feature. You can enable this and go to link to program and you can see I already had my other profile set up to link to my Daisy so that for example yeah don't just go okay see and now you can see my DPI is much lower so I have it obviously set up for Daisy I have this so that I can change weapons with the flip of that switch I have it linked to that program and it doesn't actually show the program there but basically every time I launch that program it'll automatically switch to this profile uh, and I think that's really neat so then you just hit apply and hit OK and that's really it very simple very intuitive software to use uh, again battle mode I can't really show you but it says when the mode is switched to battle detection the illumination effects will change according to the clicking frequency and you can see it if I start just spam clicking the mouse then uh, it rotates through the colors and flashes and things like that um, that's not really something I would like to see I like to just set my colors up uh, that's something I didn't cover I apologize you do have RGB again the rectangle on the left click and the mouse wheel have different colors you can select that and set it for pretty much whatever color you want and put it in there hit apply hit OK and I did it wrong obviously I'm not sure how alright try again alright there we go apply I missed a step and so now the little rectangle on my mouse is flashing yellow anyway so that's it the uh, the software for the level 10 wireless mouse one of the better I've seen very intuitive very simple to use uh, very responsive you know as I click on things everything happens instantly it doesn't take a long time to load it doesn't take a long time to save when you click done you're done it's that easy when you open it up it's almost instantaneous it doesn't take you know moments or seconds to load again you can create new profiles and throw away profiles you can import and export profiles so if you want to uh, save profiles to a thumb drive or something like that you have all those options um, up here across the top you can reset the profile system to default you can go to the eSports wireless level 10 M and register website uh, which is something I should do you can open the help document which takes you instantly to the website and gives you all of the uh, help that you could ever need walks you through each step walks you through key features installation guides um, pretty much all of this information is already in the booklets that I showed you during the unboxing and review so but it's nice to have it right here ready for you you don't have to go dig in a drawer or find it in your closet and then of course just close and uh, so either way that's that and once again we appreciate you watching the Steve Cox with High Tech Legion signing out and I uh, hope to see you guys over on our forums at www.hightechlegion.com. Come and join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter also. And we'll see you guys there. Thank you.